G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and I think you're going to find this video on how to collect honey from stingless native bees quite interesting. Now, if you follow my videos closely, you'll know that I don't own any of the native beehives on our property. My uncle does, and a few days ago he paid us a visit along with my auntie, and they checked the hives out, and at the same time, he put in a couple of honey supers, which is a way that you can collect honey from these stingless native bees. Before they got there, I had to go down the back and do some emergency whippersnipping around the area to clean it up because we've been having such a lot of rain lately. As well, another fallen tree has come down near the chicken pen, which is something else I'm gonna have to clean up. But thankfully, years ago, I laid a rubble rock pathway down to the back of our property and near where the bees are, so that when we do get all this excessive rain through the summer, it doesn't turn into a boggy mess and it's still actually accessible. There's no way I could have got a mower down there to mow around the bees. It was just too boggy. So without any further ado, let's just get stuck right into it. How's it going? Hey. Good, Mark. How are you? Good. Morning, Mark. Morning. How are you today? Yeah, good. Yourself? Yeah, still alive. Still cheating the undertaker. <laughs> what are we doing today? I'm in checking them, their annual check, and I might put some uh, honey supers on. Honey supers? To collect some honey? To collect some honey. Okay. Is this just for your own use or to sell? Well, if we get enough, we might sell it. Okay. That's looking good. Yeah, nice and full. We've got a lot of brood there. Put that on, there's a little hole, there's a little hole there for the bees to go from the brood box into the honey super. Okay, yep. So a little hole goes from the brood box into the honey super. Right. I'm trying to wrap my head around how you collect the honey here. Well, it's getting all over me. Again, the attack of the killer native stingless bees. So this is a honey super. goes on top of the box. If you look in here, you can see the hole in the corner. Yep, hole in the corner there that we showed before. Put the lid back on. And, and how does this happen? Like, how does the honey, how, what, what does that do to make, to collect honey? Well, because, because that hole's not in the middle of the box, the queen won't go up into it, so there won't be any brood in it. There'll only be honey and... Uh, oh, so the bees will still collect pollen honey. Yeah. And they'll put it in that top box, this box here. Ah. Oh. Well, because there's no brood or queen up there, they won't lay anything in there, so it'll just be honey that gets collected. Just honey and pollen, a mixture of both. So, in a way, you don't have to destroy the nest. That's or anything right. to lit to get the honey you can just let them naturally collect it so it's it's it doesn't harm anything that's right up here for thinking all right and you found this really effective oh yes it's what everyone else does with a different variety of different yeah. styles yeah. of boxes yeah 
Now that's what they do when they've got a honey super on. So is this a honey super? That's mainly mainly that, honey. Yeah, there's no but, brood in there. No, there's no brood, but there will be a little bit of pollen. There's some pollen there. And some of these others will have a bit of pollen in too. Okay, so that's that's how... There's the result. A whole bunch of little pods of honey. Honey pots, they call them. Honey pots. And are you going to... Um, Harvest that now. Yep. So here's just the harvesting part. I've only got the one honey super on here. Out of all these hives. That's right. Yep. Well, that is really good. Oh, look, quick, the honey's running out. There's some pollen. It's upside down. And that, that yellow bit's of pollen. That's what, right. Yet to be turned into honey or something? Or? No, that's just food for the bees. Okay. So you just uh, obviously cut it through and release it from the box and put it into the container. This is very interesting. Look at that. Both of them, um, as opposed to honeybees, where they'd have a, a cane, this is like pods, which is my layman's way of trying to imagine. If you look there, you can see where the bees are coming up oh, from yeah. the brood box. Yeah, oh, that's right, and that's the little hole we saw in the other one. That that's all they need, and quite often they close most of that up too, and leave a smaller hole. Okay. Would you like to have a lick, see what it tastes like? Yeah, like... Honey port. Very sweet. Sweeter than normal honey. Um, a little runnier, I suppose, than normal honey. Well, than honeybee honey. But a port taste, like a fine wine. Quite a delicacy. Alright, well I might go up and get some lunch ready. Alright. First thing I'll see is up there. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share it around. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've got a question or a comment, whack them down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.